Hey guys, what's up? Sierra here from Cantwell Beauty. Today I'm going to be doing a little shopping trip with Lola Geek, so stay tuned for that. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantwell Beauty. I am Sierra Cantwell, and I'm here with my friend. And basically what we're going to do is she's gonna teach me how she does her makeup. She gave me a list of products that she uses, and I'm going to do my makeup as if I, well, if, as if I were you. So. Okay. Please, take it away. All right, and you can also, like, as I do things wrong, please correct me and be like, don't use that brush for that. <laughs> I'll do You're, my best. You use your fingers like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, so this is my um, current little makeup bag, and I've been going through this thing where I keep trying to, like, pare down what I use and, like, put it all together in a bag and then I end up adding stuff to it and I move to, into a new bag. Okay. I'm like a like a lizard shedding its skin. I love it. So all right, so anyways, this is the current bag that I'm working out of. So not everything in here is what I sure. use. So I kind of just like pull out. This is like things. your everyday routine though? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. So yeah, what I'm gonna show you is, but um, yeah, like most of the stuff in here is not for me to use every day. Okay, sure. so the first thing I do this I learned from when you and I went to Sephora together like in January or February and got uh, our makeup done. So fun. This is Color Corrector, which I had never heard of before. And I got Bobbi Brown Color Corrector, which is what they gave me there at Sephora. It's like a peach color. Oh wow, you've gotten use out of it too. That's yeah, cool. that's but awesome. it's lasted me like this whole year. So. Do you like it a lot? Like, is Yeah, oh yeah, it okay. definitely like makes a difference, I can tell because Good. I normally would just use concealer, and I just have like very dark Me too. circles yeah. under my eyes, so this makes a big difference. It does make a difference. Yeah. Color corrector is a godsend. So she told me she was going <laughs> to use a peach color, so that's what I brought. I brought NYX though, NYX Dark Circle Concealer. It's basically the same product, just a, a lesser expensive version, so yeah. And do you put yours on with a finger? I or would you? normally, if it was a pot, I would make sure my hands were clean, yes. which they are. Yes. Um, but yeah, I would. Okay, good. So you're not going to yell at me for no, I won't yell using my fingers like an animal. Okay, we don't have mirrors. Yeah, we do. Well, we kind of have a mirror. We have a huge mirror in front of us. <laughs> blocked. <laughs> but it's partially We're blocked. Boxes. Okay. Hopefully I'm far enough away from the camera that you can't. All right. People do this in videos, too, so yeah, I'll yeah. not. Anyway, I'm done. Oh, you're done? Okay, then I'm done. <laughs> Time is up. Time is up on the color correct. Okay. I gotta go. All right, so the next thing I do... Um, so in the summertime, I usually use a like tinted BB cream that has SPF, and I use that like as my moisturizer, and then I'll put on like a tinted powder. Actually, I have the powder here too. I use like this Clinique powder, okay. but that's like my summer routine. For wintertime, I try to use more liquid stuff. Okay. So this is what I'm using currently. This is the Unique uh, Mineral Liquid Foundation. How do you like it? Um, I I like it. It yeah. like blends in really nicely, Good. and I don't. I'm not like a full coverage person, so it just kind of like evens things out. Sure. So uh, this is the color Organza. Organza, okay. Um, and so this, you're going to yell at me because I just realized like yesterday, this is the brush I've been using with it the whole time. I bought this brush at the same time. It's a unique brush. Yeah. It's like a dual ended thing. And I just realized yesterday it says powder concealer brush. <laughs> and I've been using it with my liquid thing. You know why so, I'm not going to yell at you though is because there aren't to me there aren't rules in no makeup. Rules. There's no rules, but it's not even that. That's actually a dent. Can you touch the top of it for me? Yeah, like that's a dense brush, which is what most found. Like I'm going to show you, I yeah, have a foundation it works. brush. Yeah, as long as it works. I mean, you're not using a big fluffy powder brush that you're like yeah. whoa, like rubbing it. I mean, that's yeah, it's doing its. Yeah. So its it works. And I was like, I got them at the same time. They must go together. Yeah, yeah. So that's anyway, yes, yeah, so that's what I use. Um, so this comes out in like a little eyedropper. So okay. I kind of just do it like along this much of my finger. Okay. That's how I. I'm gonna do it however you okay. do. Okay. I don't know what form your liquid one. Well, I brought um Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is gonna be a lot thicker than what she has because this is like it says concealer and perfector. This is a great drugstore foundation. Um, I go in the color 03 Light Beige. Um, it's it's close to my skin tone. It's not exact, but it's the closest one in the Milani collection. So I use a lot more than just what goes down my finger. So this is going to be fun. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use whatever you, you use. You do you, boo-boo. No, I'm doing you. This all is right. all you. Well, I mean, yeah. So, oh, this is going to be tough here saying on them. This should be fine. All yeah, right. so I uh, can't really... So I'm okay. just kind of I'm watching you. dripping it down the length of my finger. Now this is actually how you do it. This is how I do it. Okay. That's... I'm doing it wrong. 
I would never, not never, but I rarely will touch foundation to my my fingers. Are you supposed to put it right on the brush? No, I use a sponge. So well, these I'm, are totally good. Anyway, keep going for it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Do okay, thing. and then while I just kind of touch them together, and then I and just, just kind of like put it onto the areas of my face. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not using primer. <laughs> I am dying inside. <laughs> I'm dying. And then I use my, my pores hate me right then now. Then I use my powder brush. Wait, what do you do with your hands? You just leave There's the just, foundation on? I mean, it's on my face now. Oh, well, mine isn't. Mine's on my hands. <laughs> what? I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, <laughs> and then I just use my brush and just kind of like buff it <laughs> in the of my face. Okay. Oh, God, my pores hate me. Sorry, pores. Anyway, that's, that's now, do you put it on your eyes too? Uh, or are you just doing it on your face? I mean, I, I guess you it goes over okay. my eyes. I, okay. when I, apply, well, I didn't see how you did it. When, so. when I dab it onto my face, I kind of do like forehead, cheeks, nose, chin. Okay. And then I just kind of like buff it around. Well. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. <laughs> it's my not face, wrong. It's just, beautiful face. It's not wrong. It's just different than what I do. And that's why these videos are great. Well, and I think also... You know, like if your skin is oilier or drier, sure. like you're gonna be doing things different. Like this is Absolutely. what this is what works for my weirdo combination skin at this dry and cold time of year. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Morphe M four three nine, and I use the unique powder. Yes, the powder and <laughs> sealer, which is dual ended, but I haven't figured out what to use the littler end for. I um, guess it's it. Well, I don't want to do it that way. That's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> All right, next. Um, okay, so the next thing I would do is my eyebrows. Cool. And um, I believe I asked for a brow pencil and a brow gel. I brought a brow pencil and a brow gel. Yeah, yes. So the pencil I've been using is the Anastasia um, Brow Definer, which is like a triangle kind of shape thing. Um, so I guess for, this is really tough. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so first thing is I um, just kind of like brush them straight. Mm -hmm. um, and then I use the pencil end um, to fill it in. But actually this pencil just recently kind of started like falling out of its yeah tube. it dry out that's what happens well like the whole thing like, yeah. falls out of the hole so um i'm not super jazzed about that yeah honestly the brow definer is good but that's the reason i don't like it i yeah. use the anastasia brow whiz which that's is the thinner the one i want to try yeah it's the thinner of the two i actually fell in love with the brow definer and then fell out of love with the brow definer and then fell back in love with the brow whiz so yeah, see, I thought that one would be, like, skinny and annoying Harder. to use. Harder, yeah. This one, you know, you can just take a couple swipes sure. and be done. Am I stressing you out? No! <laughs> no there's no primer! Okay, my face is like, no! Sorry. What's going on? Anyway, I, I can, like, barely see what I'm doing, so just imagine that my eyebrows are, like, the right shape. Me too. Um, okay. <laughs> I, I should also mention uh, that this is the taupe color, and oh, okay. um, I'm blonde. <laughs> you are. I usually, I think actually, um, I got this at Sephora, and this is the color they recommended for me because they said the the lighter one would basically be like imperceptible on me. Sure. So, mm -hmm. um, and I do like that this has the uh, the brush built into the other end. This bowl, yeah. That's nice. Um, and then I do a, sorry, see, time is up. What? <laughs> oh, so wait, oh, the camera turned off? No. Sorry, oh, you meant the next I, step. Yeah, yes, and okay. then I do a brow gel, so this is, and I, like, I'm not married to any specific one, but this is, again, unique. I had a unique party recently. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So this is the, um, does this say what shade it is? I don't know what color this is, but it's also, like, the second from the lightest. Sure, color. it's probably, like, two. That's probably it's number two. It's number two. Yeah. I use on Tanya Crooks the Brow Gal, and this is just clear, clear brow gel, so. Yeah. Before this, I was using, um, what brand is it? Gimme Brow. Benefit? Benefit, Gimme Brow. They just had a recall on that. Really? They did. They had a recall, and I refused to return mine. <laughs> Because they said, it's my favorite brow gel, they said it, um, 
some cl some customers were reporting that it was hurting their eyes, so they just well, wanted to recall put it them. in your eyes. It that's what here, which is what it said too. It was like if you don't want to return, it's not a big deal. Just be like, careful. Were people using it as mascara? I have no idea why it was in your eye, but it's <laughs> way far up. Yeah. All right. Well, so that's the uh, brow step, and then um, the next thing I will probably do is my eyelid primer. Okay. So I've been using the Tarte. Clean slate, 360 degree, creaseless, 12 hour smoothing eye primer. How is that? Fine. Works? Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's, pro it's probably the best eye primer that I have tried. Really? Yeah. I have like very greasy eyelids. Yeah. So, <laughs> but a so, lot of people do. That's why, I mean, yeah. eye primer is definitely I mean, there for a reason. Yeah, it definitely, um, I mean, it's worth continuing to do. Because if there's a step that doesn't do something for me, I don't take that step. That makes sense. For example, primer, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, eye, eye primer, yes, worth it. Yeah. So. I'm using, um, MAC Paint Relief Paint Pot. It's just like a... Is that actually primer pink. or is it an eye... I think it's an eye color, color, but most people use yeah, it for... Yeah, Yeah, for primer, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then the next thing I do is my eyeshadow. So, I, I asked you to bring a palette. I actually have three palettes here to choose from. You said so. neutral, so I literally picked neutral yeah, mattes by Vizart. So it's it's labeled neutral matte, <laughs> so that's neutral as you can Perfect. Get. Yeah. Yeah, so the one that I keep in my little makeup bag is the Pixie um, It's Eye Time, which is like yeah. the It's Judy Time collaboration. And I kind of bought it on a whim at Target. I was going there for something else, and I just saw this as I walked by, and I was like, oh, it looks like stuff I'd use. Yeah. Um, and when I got home and watched, I like saw some YouTube videos about it, and everyone was like, oh, it's sold out everywhere. You're like, yeah. <laughs> I just got it at Target. So um, I really like this, but like you can see, I have a couple just favorite colors. And this sure. is what I was asking you about, like the stories. Yes. Like, are you supposed to use like these kind of, yeah. Stories? I mean, if you see the way these are built, uh, you can kind of see that they're light up top mm -hmm. and they go down dark. So I would, uh, yeah, I would typically use like that as a look, that as a look, and that as a look. So I'm not doing that. You don't have to. <laughs> but the whole palette is very pretty. That's why it drew, yeah. your, it drew your eye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know like, like, right. like, it all looks like thing. stuff I would use. Totally. Yeah, so I have that one. I have my um, naked smoky one, but that's like a little much for right now. Um, and actually, I might go with this one um, since I've been using it as a mirror anyway. Ooh. So this is... Um, at Ulta for my birthday month, they were give this was like what you could get for free for your birthday. So this is a NYX eye palette. Yeah, but I haven't even this, seen that. Is that because it was a special gift? I like, guess. Like I had was? to go in and pick it up. But right. your birthday is the day before mine, so I assume you could have gotten this. I assume I could have gift. Too. <laughs> I am failing as a blogger, as a What's beauty your blogger. Problem? <laughs> I didn't get this free palette. But, What's wrong but, with but me? still, like I like four colors out of this palette. Like this greenish really? color one, I will probably never Oh, touch. I'd be, I would love that um, color. I'm not into that. Like, no. Green. All right. But anyway, yeah, so anyway. this is the one I'll use. Okay. Um, and then I have, I think I told you three brushes, but I've actually been using four recently. So yeah, I only have these three. That's okay. I'll use I can make three. it work. No. I'll make it work, you know what I'm saying? I'll just throw this one out. This is like a sometimes brush. A me. pencil, like, it's I don't know what it's a brush, yeah. I don't know. And, and actually, I had also like different brushes in here, um, but I recently got this yeah. Morphe set. It was like 12 Yeah. because I was like, hey. I have brush shapes I don't have. Um, so what I've been doing is I start with this big fluffy kind of one. I'll go with this one. Okay. Okay. This is like very big. That's huge. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I just use it to like cover over my whole eye. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to use like this matte neutral kind yep. of color. I um, and just go over my entire eye socket area. I need that mirror. Where did that mirror go? And then I use this more like medium fluffy brush. This is a new addition to my brush lineup. I, I gotcha. did not until recently use this kind of shape of brush. Um, okay. And I'll use like a, this middle kind of brown mm -hmm. and um, put it into what I understand is the crease. Okay. 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 All right. I'm Let's doing do it. it wrong. Let's do it. You're not doing it wrong. It's just not a crease brush. I had. Until recently, I, I didn't know that there was a crease. No, I'm not so, yelling at you. It's more of a, it's, I'm fascinated that you can even put I'm just eyeshadow kinda, into the crease without a crease brush. I mean, I'm impressed. maybe it's, it's not like, in the crease. I'm just putting it on like the top edge of the 
I'm, I'm just impressed. Area. This is my. This is really hard for me because I usually I use like a. Uh, I'll like hold my. Yeah. All right. We chose the wrong. Do what you do, girl. This. Do what you do. You do you. You do you, boo boo. <laughs> All right. I'm. I'm gonna look like a crazy person because I really. We're can't both see gonna look like crazy people. It's fine. We're in a very challenging filming setup here. Yes, challenging all is right. the perfect so, word. So yeah, so I'm just kind of like. But we're making it happen. All in. Um, and then the last thing that I will do then is this is the one that I said. Okay. What, what's the other kind of brush I said? Flat shader should have been. That's that. Is that what? But this that's is? what this is because I don't have the right brushes. I kind of brought okay. other brushes. So well, this is like, this. and I had a different one of these for years and years, and it was like the only thing I could use. And I never saw any other brush in that shape, and I didn't even know what it was called to look for one. Sure. But one came in this set, and I was like, yes, another one of these. Right. Um, so this one, I'll do like a like this darker color. Brown. Oh, okay. And yeah, you're, you, I'm gonna blow your mind. So yeah, I just, I just, <laughs> just want to say that's probably that maybe closest yeah, or like just like whatever's the darkest one, because this is the last. This is like the liner step. Oh, okay. So I just kind of do a line of it. This is gonna be real hard to do. And then I just kind of like put it along the edge and also like right on the corner. I am learning today. You're not learning. You're like unlearning. <laughs> I'm doing it wrong. I just. No, a lot of people do the liner thing and just not with this brush. Well, so a lot of people would do a thinner, like a thinner, it's called a flat definer brush. I have those, but it's like not. It doesn't work for you? It's not wide and I'm. I can't do those little dainty brushes. I need like a big, just smudge swipe. Gotcha. You're going I for the smudge kinda, look. Yeah, I just smudge it all together. You're a rebel, girl. In fact, at the end of this, by the, like, I feel like I'm doing this with my left hand. Like I'm very, <laughs> I'm very constrained in what I can do here. I'm um, impressed though. But yeah, so like at the end of this, like if I feel like maybe it's not quite blendy enough, I just kind of like smudge over the whole thing with my finger. All right, done. Um, she said, "All right, done." Done. Okay, so uh, the next then would be the concealer. So this step. Wait, I, what? Okay, okay, got you. All right, I, I forgot we didn't do concealer. We didn't yet. do concealer, and normally I would have done it like first, like very first, but then I started doing eyeshadow. the. Well, I started doing the color corrector. Right. And then, yeah, if you've got eyeshadow, then it goes, yep. so, um, yeah, so I do it at the end. This is, um, oh, oh yeah, this is Benefit Boing Concealer, which I had before, but I just got this at Sephora recently. It's like half, it's half Boing, and the other side is Watts Up, which is a highlighter that I don't use. Oh. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, no, you're fine. You don't have to hand. apologize. So I'm using NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the color Custard. And I'm not, I don't have a brush. So you only apply it with your finger? Just put it on with my finger and I just kind of smudge it under here and cover up the last of the dark circle kind of area. All right. All right. Now I apply this with my finger, but I always um, use a sponge to make it seep in more. After this, you're gonna be like, "This girl is a slob." No, I'm not. I don't think How that at all. Live her life. I literally did not know you even wore concealer. So you should take that as a compliment. No, I'm serious. Because if I looked at you and thought, "Oh, she's no, wearing she's a ton of concealer," dark on. circles. Why doesn't she wear concealer? No, the opposite though. Like I don't look at you and think, "I didn't know you had dark circles." Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's like Thanks. you do a good job. Yeah. So. And also, I'm not like married to the pot format. I also like right. I have a tube of a liquid one in here, and I've used stick ones before. Yeah. But um, this is just what I have currently. Yeah, for our purposes. Yes. Um. Yeah, so then uh, the next thing I would do, it would be, and this is also like a new addition to the lineup, Okay. Um, is a blush. Love it. Seriously, I didn't wear blush until like uh, two months ago. A lot of um, people don't wear, there's people on YouTube, like well, famous I, YouTubers yeah. that are like, I don't do blush every time I do my makeup. And I don't do it every time. Right. Like, I thought I would do like the Sure, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this was also like a f the freebie. Uh, birthday freebie at Sephora. This oh, is sweet. a tart. It's called Party with three A's. Party. Party. And it's just like very neutral. 
Um, cause then, like, yeah, since I, nice. since I got this, then I was like, oh, maybe I'll try other blushes, and they're, like, very bright. So, <laughs> I'm not used to that yet, I'm not at that level, so I yeah. just take a little dab of, oh, and this is, I think this is a real technique. Can I say? That's full, brought, full tapered blush. I brought this one, and I brought this one, so what do you, yeah. I'll just use this one. Oh, which one should I use? Take care. Whichever one you want. Alright, and then I brought a Lorac blush that I have. She told me to bring a neutral blush, yeah. so I brought one called Sol Ame. I don't know. I've had this for a while. It's yeah, yeah. Nice. but it's pretty neutral. Yeah, and then I just do you know like the. <laughs> and yeah, I just like dab it on the circles and then kind of blend back a scotch. Yeah. Okay. And then highlighter is kind of like my uh, my not new, but in the last yeah. few months I've started experimenting with. So I actually happen to have two of them in here. This is the IT Cosmetics Hello Light, which I think is like, yeah, anti-aging. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's like not really... Um, That's weird. It's not really yeah. highlighting. Yeah, I know. I feel like who's looking for a highlighter? Right? Like, oh, uh, I'm 60 well, years old and I really need my highlighter. I got it at Ulta me. and I just asked them for like suggestions of highlighters and they're like, this one's anti-aging. All right. Okay. Um. So that, that one's fine. But yeah. actually, I've been using this one. This is a tart. Uh. What's this one called? Skin Twinkle. I like it. It's a three color palette. There's um moonlight, filtered light, and sunlight. Very pretty. So. Which one do you like? I don't really use that middle one so much because it's not like sparkly. Sure. So I just kind of use one of the. I mean, you can see I use both of them. Yeah. Um. It depends on if I'm feeling like a lighter or darker color, I guess. And I, this I think actually is a blush brush. Okay. So it's not bad. I would I'm use something like that. Blowing your mind. I would use something like that. That look, I mean, it's And you know why? I ordered these two items separately, but they arrived in the mail the same day, and I was like, I'll use them together. <laughs> You're like, sounds good. Yes. Uh, you like to buy things together and put them together. I hope I you don't, don't buy like green pants and yeah, red no, shirts. You know what? I time. really you don't. Like, like a, a lot of people are like, I can only buy clothes in an outfit. I really don't shop that way. Me neither. But it just, like, it happened. Like, they showed up at the same time, and I was like, I want to try them both sure. out. And I'm like, now this is what I use with this. Yeah, so I just, um, like, just take a little dab yeah. on the tip and then uh, just kind of, like, Swipe it. I, see, I can't do this in this. I'm like, I have no. I know, right? You're like, no. <laughs> um, but I kind of just do it like from like the corner of my eye and like the top of my okay. cheek. And I got the um, Maybelline Master Chrome. This is actually the best highlight that I've ever seen at the drugstore. Um, this is blinging. So oh, this yeah. is gonna like really. See, and you're always so glowy, so I will. I am always glowy. Any um, recommendations that you have? This is really Blaine. glowing. Yes, this is for a drugstore. I mean, this was only ten bucks, and it's a huge pan. I mean, big. it's huge, and it's it is definitely quite bright. So I think I'm done. All right. So we'll do our, our lips. Okay. Okay. And this, I was saying, like, if you didn't bring the exact thing that I have here, uh, this is like the thing I change up most. I sure. use lipstick, I use stains, I use the liquid things, I use... Yeah, like, all different. Tinted balms. Again, not married. So this is NYX Slip Tease. Is that one of the, um... This oh, is, it's called Slip Tease. It's called the... The, the, the line. The, yeah. yeah, and this color is... Koi. Oh. <laughs> I have ColourPop, and this is one of Kathleen Light's um, shades called Lumiere 2. Mm. I think I have the original Lumiere. Do you? Yeah. That's one of my favorites as well. Mm -hmm. And what I do a lot of times, because I'm like sloppy about this, I just kind of put it on and then I dab it with my finger because... Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> no, 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 my, today. All my beauty secrets are out. <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> Because I like more of like a stain look. Like I don't want it right. to be like this you is do. where now the color you, is. Now that you say that, that's how. Oh yeah. wow, that is actually. That's how secret. I get my. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's done. actually a good tip because now the color is not so like in your face. Yeah, I like uh, like a natural like berry kind of color. Yes. Yes. So yeah. So that's it for that. I told you translucent powder and a big fat powder brush because okay. that would be like. So I did this like in the morning and I went to work okay. and now I have somewhere else to go this evening. Oh. And so I just need to like dab off a little bit. 
Gotcha. So, um, this is a It Cosmetics big fluffy Love fat it. brush. Does it have a name? No. Um, I actually got this from QVC and it came in a set with the um, Bye Bye Pores loose powder, uh -huh. which I liked, but it's kind of a mess. Yeah. So this is Bye Bye Pores press powder, and you're probably not supposed to use the same brush for press powder that you use for loose. But okay. actually, yeah, it like... It, as long as it picks up product. For pressed powder, it's like pretty... It's very, yeah. Powdery. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so yeah, so the brush picks it up just fine, and then I would just kind of, you know, push it over wherever there's... But you wouldn't normally do this in the morning, do you? Uh, in the su like in the summertime, I might. Really? Yeah. That's After like you've already done everything, because there is something called a finishing not, powder. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I know. No, okay. Like, yeah, I probably would do this before the highlighter okay. and all that. Yeah, but I this I included this step gotcha. as kind of like a like a touch up touch up oil sure. sucker kind of thing. So I think that's it. Okay. So how do we look? I think. You I think we look. Awesome. So, for so, so sitting on the them, floor in the dark room. <laughs> so tell them what uh, item yeah. you thought I missed. So the then without a face primer, um, I wouldn't function without a face primer just because it keeps your foundation on. And I'm a full coverage type of person, so putting on something even as thick as the Milani foundation, it wouldn't stay on my face all day. Um, I have oily skin, and I know it would just break apart. It would come apart on my nose. It would come apart on my cheeks, my t my T zone, Teeth. whatever it's called, <laughs> my whatever yes. it's called T zone. It would just come apart. So the primer part bother me. <laughs> but you know what, maybe because I, maybe because I use such a light that's what like, it is. I don't. I wouldn't notice it that happening. Totally. And you also use very light coverage. You really don't use full coverage mm -hmm. at all. Which is why I said I didn't even notice that you didn't wear concealer. Like I didn't. I had no idea. Like you took your makeup off before this. Mm -hmm. I had no idea you had dark circle. Like I'm not joking. Like I had no idea. So the fact that you put on concealer that awesome is is awesome. Um, what's another step that I would do? Mascara. So, Mascara. <laughs> the fact that I don't have mascara on right now is making is blowing my mind because to me an eye look is not like there's a lot of YouTubers who believe in like fake lashes every day. I couldn't not me. Even. Couldn't even dream of that. But mascara, literally, I bottom and top. If I forget bottom lash mascara one day, my day is ruined. <laughs> my morning, I'm like off all day. I don't wear highlighter every day though. I have pulled back from wearing highlighter every day because um, sometimes I just don't feel like it or I'm running late or something like that and that's the last step for me. So I just don't even, it's really an afterthought. Hope you guys had fun watching this video. Hope you learned a couple things. Thanks for watching Cantwell Beauty and visiting with me and my friend here. And um, please subscribe to her channel. Want to tell them about your channel? Sure, uh, my channel Lola Geek. A uh, little bit of everything. There's shopping, cooking, organizing, crafts, nails, makeup. It's really fun and super <laughs> addicting. And hanging out with her is super fun. Yeah, and vlogs, literally, travel. Yeah, it's literally like you're hanging out with her like all the time. So just binge watch her channel. It's really <laughs> fun. You'll love it. Um, and then I'll put the link obviously below in the description box. We're gonna do some fun videos together. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe and tell a friend. Bye.